Hi you guys, Sal Galvin here. I wanted to, haven't been in here for a while, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, Facebook isn't putting a lot of money into Facebook pages. So if I work hard in here or like share good, good um, content and some insights into what I'm doing to be the best me that I can be, it often doesn't pop up on your newsfeed. So if you are not following already, the Mums Making a Difference page. It's a page, a group, sorry, a community group that I am running with my sisters and I. Mums Making a Difference. I think I can put the link in below. Go and um, and join the group because that is where you will see not only me, but Tracy and Suzette giving some really cool content. Tracy about the juggling mum, myself about oh, being the best me that I can be, leading by example, and Suzette about amazing mindset tips for uh, elite sports women it's like amazing it's just amazing phenomenal what she's doing um anyway i'm in my happy place i don't know if i can give you guys a really good idea of look where i am up on top of my hill it is a magnificent day and i wanted to get in and just say to you guys um what is something that you've always wanted to do? So in the past, maybe two or three years ago, I always wanted to consistently meditate and now I am and it has been a game changer for me. And then a little, about a month ago, I got this inkling and I've always wanted to do it, but I, learned, I started, signed up myself to a program to learn how to speed read because I love reading or I love what reading does to us because any good leader leaders are readers people anybody that has created any success in leading themselves and anybody else has always hi Sharon how you doing look where I am on top of the hill it's freaking amazing up here has always read you know reads a lot and so I'm a really slow reader my husband Jerry's a really fast reader he smashes a book he can actually smash a book out in a night I can't I'd like read like a six-year-old still but I comprehend anyway I am halfway through a speed reading course and it is epic it's absolutely amazing I've gone from 250 words a minute to 600 words a minute and my goal is 2,000 words a minute that's a lot huh and but also to comprehend not just to flick through so you get taught a proper process um, to speed read how amazing is that so that is one of my little goals and all of you guys all over the world and actually including the eastern states of Australia right now with this lockdown like they've got curfews over there and everything now hi Matt how you doing nice to see you you know people are locked in let's you know before we go insane let's work out something that you really want to do that you can do so have a look online there's so many amazing programs that you can purchase for not much speed reading is one of them and um, I'm really impressed with my um, you know with my ability to learn that and it's not a good reader or bad readers it's actually trained readers and um, untrained readers so is speed reading your thing that's an idea the other one is so because my mum lost her mind and with Alzheimer's one of my things is um, memory so well I'm all like I've developed the Mind Fit Kids Academy and I'm all about mind fitness. So everything to do with stretching your mind because the most important resources in your life are your time and your mind. That's what I truly believe. So I am learning to speed read and I'm also um, having a good crack at this memory thing. My next thing, once I've, once I've reached 2,000 2, words a minute, my next course is going to be on memory. So remembering people's names, remembering you know anything and he uses his imagination to do it James Limitless is his name uh, Limitless is the book I've just finished reading well I read a little while ago and um, James James quick Jim quick kwik highly recommended I'll put can put the link in below but you know with all of us in these crazy lockdown times you know let's do something to activate keep yourself mentally sane otherwise I'd be drunk all the time I think if I didn't um, you know, like I just drink too much. I think that's like, because I do like a nice cold beer or a glass of wine, as you know, Sharon. So anyway, that's me. And the other thing is as well, never underestimate 
the power of filling up your cup and looking after yourself. Self-love and looking after yourself is one of the most important, in fact, the most important, because if your cup's not full, if your oxygen mask isn't on first, you're no good to anybody else. So make sure you're not running, burning candle at both ends and, you know, become useless to anybody else. Anyway, this is my, I just snuck off. I left all the kids down the house with, with my husband. They all wanted to come riding and I took off before they could catch me. They'll probably come up the hill now in a minute because I wanted to just come up and enjoy my happy place. I'm actually leading Colm's horse. He's on his way to footy training, riding mine. Yeah. And this is it's actually beautiful up here it's absolutely beautiful it's more beautiful than normal right now you think you were the only person in the world hi georgia nice to see you okay so there's a couple of tips this is that's what i'm up to and i just wanted to let you know that i'm not in here that much because facebook isn't it popping it up on people on people's pages anymore it's not as good as groups so if you are wanting to follow what i'm covering go to mum's making a difference that is my group our group my sisters and our group and it's about you can sneak in there as a guy actually as well but it's actually about parents trying to make a difference in their lives in their families lives and in their wider communities lives it's actually a roll-on from empowered women empowering the world which is the book that that um i've co-authored with my sister all right i'll see you later guys later ciao for now